I've heard of stories of this reef break that's close to where we live and a lot of trawlermen scour along the Great Barrier Reef and they, they kept saying about this break that they, when they come past that it's just something that you'd catch over in Indo and when it's at your back door it's like well why not go and try it. The weather, the tides, everything was starting to line up. The, the swell was out there and it was just keeping on the net, just keep and watch of the weather because it can just change the next day and then it's not worth the trip. We're 40, 40 nautical mile off the coast with nothing to protect it. Anything over 10 knots comes in and it's ruined. Took a variety of boards and booties and just because I've never surfed it before. You cover yourself for either surfing, filming or just going for a bit of a leisure dive or, or snorkel out on the, on the reef. It's, so I just sort of pack gear according to those sort of expectations. Uh, one of my good mates, he's got a 27 footer. Um, it's sort of like a sports fishing boat. up the front. Got a new one yesterday. Yep. He up the front. One of the other guys, I could have been Jason even, teed him up to, to take his boat out. So we loaded on, there were six of us that went out. The trip, we were lucky enough that the weather and the wind fell into place, so the trip was a nice smooth. We sat on like 23 knots, two and a half hour trip, and we were hitting the reef. Oh yeah, what time did we leave? It's like half after six, really? Yeah, it was after six, wasn't it? Yeah, way well, after six. We were, everyone was starting to get more and more amped as we were going. And you could see a bit of swell hitting the reef and we're going, this could be the day. It was just interesting to look around on the faces of the guys that hadn't been there and the guys that had surfed it before, like Jason. And uh, mate, he just lost it. He was just, it was like some little five-year-old kid had just woken up Christmas morning and there was nothing but 50 presents under the tree just for him. Oh, a lot of the guys were too busy getting their gear on and hooting um, instead of trying to anchor up the vessel. Before we even anchored up, half of them were over the edge in the lineup. Though They just couldn't believe that everything just came together for us. softer to what this wave really is like. Jase, he went out there, caught a few waves, and didn't look like much. Snap board. Trust your board, Jase. That one. Yep. 
Let's talk us through it. Well, what I was doing, Rowan, I kicked it. Got caught there on the section. Flicked there. Stop. Now I have two boards. It's like coming from deep water and it'll just be a shallow, flat reef that'll, um, that the swell will hit and, and jack. If you don't make the section, you get washed back up onto the reef a little bit. You're sitting in like three foot of water and you're getting hit by seven, eight foot of, of foam and, and, you know, it's just, just smashes, guys. That's how I've been surfing that for the last hour. Then I'd successfully run him over again and near drown the poor. <laughs> I got a bit concerned there for a minute, Adrian, I'll tell you the truth. I was like, I'm going to have to drag him off the reef in a minute. I couldn't get up. Oh, I was coming up and I'm going, man, please come up. Please. And you'd pop up and I'd go, Sorry, man. I can go down again. Just look at it. Don't worry about her boards at the moment. Just worry about us, our life. Yeah, there's this, still this one way that I still think about even to this day that I want to try next time to come across it again so I can destroy it. it I was sitting there and I'm going, no, am I going to catch it? Yeah, no, yeah, no. And then I decided and it was, it was too late. I took the drop, just got white water spraying my face. And I'm just going, man, just then I'd have my toes just dug into the wax because I knew if I didn't make it, I would have been sitting at the bottom of the reef with the crayfish feeding off me for a week because the reef is just so, so shallow. But yeah, toes are dug in, made the drop, and then just got covered in white where I couldn't see where the face of the wave was to line back up. And I just had to, yeah, I couldn't do anything. I just rode it out straight. But after looking at the footage, Oh man, if only if I had a bit more time, I could have set myself up for one of the best barrels that I probably would have ever had. In the modern day of commercial surfing, to still find this soul surfing, this exploration, this, this stuff you do surfing for with your mates, that it's still out there, then I, I think the spirit of surfing is still alive. <laughs>